Uber now, heading to Ala Moana, and today I am meeting up with my Hawaii girls, Lisa, Tarina, Rochelle, so I'm really looking forward to that. So we are having Japanese and then we might check out a couple of stores, so I will vlog more when I get there. Okay, so we're at lunch now and all the foods arrived. Look at this feast! And I'm with Tarina, Rochelle, Lisa. We're gonna dig in now. Um. Just in Chanel. I don't even know what collection and all that this is from. Oh, I do like this with the pearl skirt. I never knew you even had that. Oh, it becomes a papillon shape. Did that sell well? Did you see that it goes yeah. circular and then it opens up a, a papillon? <laughs> That's why I said it's a transformer. <laughs> so this is the cute little Chanel circle bag. And then you can make it into like this shape. So definitely love the concept, just pretty expensive, still 4,000 USD. These are new, I always love these. I like these too. These are not new, but I might as well just show you some of the shoes. These are new too from the 22k collection. I like them. So I'm in Gucci at the moment and Lisa's got a great essay here. So beautiful store. Michelle, Tarina. Lisa's just lounging on her couch. This is Lisa's couch. Lisa's lounging on her couch. <laughs> I haven't seen the horse but with the top handle. It's probably not great light. Or the Dionysus. I am so behind with Gucci. That's pretty new too. Just a lot of the classic monogram, green stripe, Gucci SLGs. Camera bag, it gives me a lot of vintage vibes, that one. This is their newer bag. I forgot what the name of this is called. But this logo is definitely vintage inspired. Look at the little SLG here. And the belt bag. I still don't know if I love this range, to be honest. This one is definitely giving me 70s vibes. But yeah, I haven't actually tried them on to give them a go. And then they've got the belts in the suede with the same logo. Okay, let's take a look at some of the ready to wear. Oh, these shorts are quite cute. I quite like them. Denim jacket, not so much. A lot of bright colors. I should probably do it this way. Oh, look at this little bomber. So in Gucci, I believe that bags you get a discount on, but not on shoes. I love for this color and the ostrich, that's gorgeous. Wow, look at this version in metallic lizard. So this for the mini size is 7,200 USD. But I believe in the US, the bags are a bit cheaper. I'll have to double check. 
So I think this is all the exotic section because you've got the hobo with all the snake skin and the ostrich mix. And then this one as well with the half half. I think this is the Jackie. Huge. Oh, look, they have a little pet section. Oh my gosh, so adorable. Little pet collars, leashes, <laughs> a little treat bag, bowls. Yeah, so this store, I believe, it got revamped last year or was it earlier this year? I'll have to ask Lisa. But this is the men's section and then more little cute pet goodies as you can see here they've got a little dog carrier <laughs> too cute and then all the monogram range here suitcases wow this store is really big and then all the shoes as well Just popping in really quickly to YSL because Lisa said if there was a clutch she would get it in grey but they don't have it. Let's try this. Yeah that's cute. Let's see it in the shell. Come on. Let's have a look. So cute on you. Yay, that's so you. It is It is very soft though, because it's like silk. That's what scares me. It's okay, water on stand protect. Looks so good on you. No, don't do the selling It looks terrible on you. Yeah, it looks so bad. So bad, right, Serena? So just quickly, this is the Ella Moana YSL store. So you know I love YSL. A lot of favorites, Kate, Cassandra, Sac de Jour, Manhattan. Lots and lots of different shoes. Look at these Perspex shoes. Okay, confession. I have to admit that these shoes are not comfortable. I do own them in the really high versions. The 90 mil or 70 mil high is okay, but just not the 110. Some of the men's stuff. I'm not sure what this is. I think this is like a little crossbody sack. Some of the wallets, bum bag. Hey guys, so we're on Kalakala Avenue and it's blocked off at the moment because there is like a street jam. We've been to one of these before when it was the Spam Festival, but this is just, yeah, I love it. It just coincided with the time where we're here. So it's got a lot of food vendors, it's got a lot of the local arts and crafts, and so we've come out just to check it out and eat as usual. So let's have a look around and see what we should feast on. So there's a little shop here with all flower lays. I love these. Little picks. So it's just heaps and heaps of different options. So 
we got the double cooked ribeye and let's try it. Let's get the meat first. Soft. Yes, it's good. So the guy is so generous, he gave us some free fish and it's the fish is delicious. morning my loves so today we are going on another mini sort of day trip we are going to Makapu lighthouse so there is a very easy hike <laughs> otherwise I don't think I could do it but first of all we're gonna go get some brunch uh, I'm not sure what we're gonna have yet it depends on the wait time so I will vlog more when I get there and then we are going to go check out, what beach was it, Hubs? Waimanola, uh, uh, I think. Waimanola, we're probably butchering that beach and just relax. So today is a super relaxing day and I will vlog more at the restaurant when we get there. We just stopped at Koa Pancake House. I think they have a few locations. So we got the blueberry pancakes and then we also got like the omelette omelette coming so let's give this a go hubby why don't you have the first try some syrup and today is hubby's day because it's actually his birthday today so today he wanted to go on the hike and just relax right hubs Okay, so we've got the omelette with the hash browns and this omelette look, has like spinach in there and everything it looks great. The mushrooms maybe, yeah mushrooms, let's try a bit of everything. Mm. Yummy. That's good, I like how the hash browns are sort of Okay, so here we are at the start of the trail to the lighthouse. So it's just got a bit of information there. And it's all paved, so for those of you that don't want to just poke your head, I think this one is going to be good because people don't look that exhausted when they come down. So let's go! Okay, so we made it to the top and you're treated with some beautiful views of the shoreline. I'll show you the other side of the island. So we made it to the very top and the lighthouse is there. Look how blue the ocean is. It's magnificent. Okay, so we're at dinner now and we're at Nature Waikiki and our cocktails have just come out. Mine is a special, uh, they made it up for me, you just pick the liqueur of your choice. So I picked gin and it's gin and sweet. I'm sure it's going to taste amazing. And hubby, what did you get? I got the uh, sour rose with bourbon and egg white. Sour rose with bourbon and egg white. Okay, let's do a cheers. Happy birthday. amazing so this is the steak and Tubby do you want to try got a truffle, sauce truffle sauce looks good mm. thumbs up double thumbs up okay so this is the car we have for today I just thought I'll take a quick video it's a nice car it's a Mercedes s-class it was a super cushy ride and it was actually quite nice to drive as well. So yeah, that was the car. Good morning, my loves. So today was supposed to be our last full day 
And then we got an email from Jetstar saying our flight has been delayed like a day and a bit. So we were like, oh my gosh, rushing to get accommodation, another extra night, but Jetstar, yes, we flew Jetstar. Because initially when Hubby got these tickets, it was this fabulous deal. I think we got them for less than $400 Australian each. And so, yes, I always get asked the question, Mel, do you only fly business class? And the thing is that yes, I think longer haul trips, I always try to fly business class. But all my Aussie followers, you would understand, everything is so far away from Australia. So Hawaii is about 10, 10, 10 and a half hours away from Melbourne. So that's considered shorter for us. Plus we got such good fares. But yeah, it turned out to be a blessing in disguise because Jetstar has to pay for the accommodation, our food for an extra day. So we're just enjoying it and happy that we get to celebrate our birthdays in Hawaii. So that was kind of like, I've never had a flight being delayed a day and a bit. So we're just happy to be here. Now, one thing that Hubby went just to get before and he filmed a little bit of it, I'll insert the footage here. That's how the kind of goes. That's how the laminated cheese. We're gonna get it laminates all the butter on the cheese. Yeah. And it's called Queen Aman. I'll show you the pastry now. And it's from what? What? Uh, Kona Coffee Purveyors. Kona Coffee Purveyors. So we've tried the coffee at Kona, which I highly recommend. It's, it's really good, but expensive. And this is the pastry. So. Let's try it together. So I'm just sitting in bed, no makeup, but oh my gosh. Wow, it looks really, okay. So this is what it looks like. Oh no, that's the bottom of it. <laughs> Get it right, Mel. All right, so this is what it looks like. It's like, I don't know what it is actually. It looks really crunchy and it's got some sort of glazing. It's a puff pastry, I think. All right, let's give it a go. I'm gonna do the Mark Williams. Mm. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is so good. It's like crunchy, sweet. The pastry is so good, so soft. I don't even know how to describe it. How do food bloggers do it? It's just the perfect mix. It's, it's sweet, but it's got like the consistency of like a really good croissant, if that makes sense. But way better. Look, it's just layers and layers of pastry. I don't even know what the glazing is, but guys, if you're in Hawaii, you need to try this pastry. It's called Queen Aman. Oh my gosh, so good. So the plan is today, we're just gonna relax by the pool, do some work, uh, then go out for a little bit. We're just gonna wing it today, no particular plans, but I'm just gonna sit here now and enjoy my pastry. Oh my gosh, so fattening, but so worth the calories. <laughs> okay, so after spending a couple of hours just lounging by the pool, nice and relaxed now, one of my subbies said to try Maguro Bros because they have very good sashimi. And we were supposed to try this on our last trip, but we didn't get a chance to. So today is just a super chill day, isn't it? We're nice and relaxed. Oh, yeah. Yummy?
Next up, we actually headed to Tiffany & Co to check out the range. And I wanted to try on some of their bracelets. And a new bracelet that just hit is called the Lock Bracelet. And it comes in different variations. So my favorite was the Half Parve one. And I'm trying it on here in the gold and rose gold. And yeah, I just really liked how it looked on my stack. And it does come in different variations from plain to a few diamonds to the half parve and obviously full parve as well. And then I thought I would try on the iconic knot bracelet, which I didn't mind, their classic tea bracelet. And this is another version of the Tiffany T bracelet, but it's just more narrow and it's got the mother of pearl stone. And it even comes in an even thinner version with parve, but I thought this looked a bit thin on my stack. And then finally trying on one of their Atlas bracelets, which I didn't mind as well. And since Hawaii is one of the bigger Tiffany stores, they had a huge range of solitaire diamond rings. And so I'm trying on the three carat here. You cannot deny the brilliance, the sparkle of Tiffany diamonds. I mean, they're known for the whole Tiffany setting. And the three carat cost 168,000 USD. Next up, I am trying on the four carat and this was amazing. I actually thought there was quite a big difference between the three and four carat. And this four carat cost $229,500. And then since they had it there and I thought, why not? This is what the five carat looks like. Wow, wow, wow. That's all I can say. And the five carat was a whopping, and I have to show the evidence too, was $402,000. So comment below, did you like the three, four or five carat on my finger better? No plans to upgrade my diamond ring, maybe in the future, but it's not often you get to try on such beautiful solitaires. So hubby and I took the opportunity and the essay was lovely. So that was a lot of fun. So this is the Toro and the Uni Nigiri. Okay. Okay, so we got their signature shrimp toast with spicy aioli and look how pretty this is. It's a selection of all the different sashimis with uni truffle. It's called the sashimi garden. Yum, hubby's favorite. That's a first. We've never mixed raw egg into a sauce for a skewer, right? Chicken maple skewer. So we tried to pick the things we know we can't normally get at other Japanese restaurants. Okay, hubby, let's try. Very nice. My turn. And then this is the California Dynamite. It's good. Yeah. 